Welcome everyone to the Rose House, your go-to channel for all things lifestyle, home decor, and family. I'm Tiana and I'm thrilled to have you join me on this wonderful journey. On this channel, we are all about creating a cozy and inspiring space where you can find inspiration, tips, and tricks to make your home truly shine. Whether you're seeking ideas for a room makeover, looking for DIY projects, or simply want to immerse yourself in the joys of family life, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we're diving into the art of resetting our home on a Friday, a ritual I cherish before my amazing husband returns from a long week of work. And yes, I reset my homes my home on a Friday. We'll be taking you through the process of tidying, organizing, and adding those special touches that transform a house into a warm and inviting home. Get ready to discover simple yet effective cleaning strategies that will leave you feeling accomplished and your space looking absolutely stunning. So if you're a lover of all things lifestyle, home decor, and family, this channel is tailored made for you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on one of our exciting content trust me you won't want to miss what's coming up thank you for being here and for being a part of our incredible community together let's create a haven of love beauty and inspiration right in the heart of our homes now let's jump into today's video and get ready to reset our space shall we i always go in and ensure that my laundry room is restocked Restocking items in the laundry room is crucial for a smooth laundry routine. And if it is something that I hate doing, I hate doing the laundry. I hate washing, I hate folding, I hate putting away the clothes, but we have to do it. Ensures, it ensures you have necessary supplies on hand, it maintains laundry quality, promotes efficiency, and I'm all about efficiency. It enhances organization and prepares for unexpected situations, such as having your kids go to swim lessons three times per week. So prioritize restocking to keep your laundry room running seamlessly. I do laundry up to four times per week especially with the girls having swim lessons it is essential due to the constant presence of wet clothes now Tanil goes to swim lessons three times per week and so Tiesia so regular laundry maintenance ensures that the wet clothes are promptly washed and dried and the towels as well and you know, this prevents unpleasant odors, mildew, or potential damage to their garments. By staying on top of the laundry, you maintain a clean, fresh, and organized environment while ensuring that the girls always have dry clothes available for their sim lessons. And I also wash my clothes in between.
So I know you may be wondering where did I get my soap containers. So this one, I got it in Walmart and I got the matching um, laundry bag to go with it. And as for the dryer sheet box, I got that on Amazon. Now you can also look on Amazon. They have tons of laundry soap containers, different styles. It says cute things a lot on Amazon, but I did get mine um, in Walmart. This soap, I got it in Costco. It's a Kirkland signature brand. And when I tell you this soap is absolutely the best, it gets rid of all the dirt, especially when Chris comes home and his clothes is dirty. It's good. And I don't know if it's just me. I hope you guys do that too. I have different types of soap. So I have a different soap for my dark clothes, different soap for my colored. I only use liquid soap on my dark clothes. Then I use powder soap on my lights. And then I have a different soap for my whites. I hope I'm not the only one. I know my mom does that because my mom taught me. But that's how I wash. also resetting my baby's baby bag <laughs> so this is Tanil's bag um that we use now she has grown so much so when i checked her bag the clothes that she had in it just would not fit and every week i try to go in her bag and refresh her diapers her food her wipes because you know with the road and that's what we do but um i try to do this on a weekly basis sometimes bi-weekly but i just love to refresh her bag it was looking a little bit dirty so i had to go in and give it like a scrub and then put it outside here we are in the mud room and if you've checked out my mud room organization video you would have seen that i kind of changed it up a little bit i switched out the baskets because the larger basket it was just too much space for hoarding and it's inevitable when you have a basket at your door you're gonna just throw stuff in it so this little basket is being restocked with hand sanitizers i have our fans because this heat baby when i tell you about this heat i have some um lip balm and i think that's about it a charger for the fans that's about it in this basket so less space for hoarding I wash Tanil's hair two to three times per week because of her swim lessons. I like to use Shea Moisture in the hair because it just makes the hair so much more manageable. 
it moisturizes her hair it smells absolutely amazing and it's free from harsh chemicals and i love it I think you're going to have my hair. There we go. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, you look there. cuter with the light in the light in the video. There we go. Da da. Mommy, you think you're going to be a model? Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty. Brushing Tennille's teeth is like pulling a tooth. But thank you, God, for TikTok. I went on TikTok and I researched an easier way and I found a dentist that told me exactly how to put her between my legs and get those pearly whites all clean. And she hates it, but I love brushing her teeth. Now, the minute you're sitting on the floor, Tenniel knows it's reading time. So we had to get some reading in. She absolutely loves reading. So she's always going for a book and having myself or her sister read to her. She loves reading. And I love that about her. it's time to make the girls some breakfast and this morning breakfast is very simple i'm just doing some scrambled eggs and giving them some fruits with sausages as well i think tiesia added a yogurt and one of her juice or something like that effect but pretty basic you know breakfast this morning
unpacking my dishwasher is every day three times a day because the kids have three to four to five meals per day so there's always stuff in my dishwasher because that's what i use to drain my to dry my plates and i try to run my dishwasher one to two times per week so i'm jamaican i didn't grow up with a dishwasher so i always rinse my plates and then put it in the dishwasher Listen, when I tell you all that this device is my best friend, that device is my best friend. I absolutely love it. No, I think everyone should invest in a Roomba. As a matter of fact, any robotic vacuum cleaner is worth the investment. It's a valuable investment and it offers time-saving convenience, consistent cleaning performance, improved indoor air quality versatility and smart features i love my roomba and i don't know about y'all but many users that i know find it worth the money because it simplifies our cleaning routine and it maintains a cleaner living environment like come on i am so in love with my roomba guys like i use it so often i really don't sweep a lot Manually, the Roomba gots to do the work, okay? Having a clean and fresh bedroom with white sheets creates a serene and inviting atmosphere. Listen, when I come into my bedroom and I see my bed made with my white sheets and it's smelling like a whole can of Lysol and some candles mixed in, it gets me every time. The cleanliness and freshness of white sheets contribute to a tranquil ambiance while you know its versatility complements any decor style and i think probably that's why i gravitated to white sheets it's a lot of work but it's so fulfilling you know white sheet promotes good hygiene practices and evoke positive associations and you have to wash it every week so makes sense regular washing and care ensure their pristine appearance and maintain a hygienic sleeping environment i love me some white sheets When it's all said and done i'm gonna wipe my bathroom i think that's the last thing that i do no the second to last thing that i always do is wipe the bathroom and then the last thing i do is i'm gonna light a candle i love candles but i think chris is obsessed with candles so i always ensure that i have a candle burning so when he gets home, he's smelling how fresh and inviting his home is.
I'm not done yet. After breakfast, I had a one o'clock meeting, so I had to rush out the house. So I totally forgot to refill my soap, my counter cleaner, and wipe my cupboards. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Guys, listen, when you are a mom, a business owner, you're doing everything, you tend to forget, you have meetings, you have, you're just doing everything, it's a lot. But we get stuff done, and that's why we are superwoman. As you all can see in the video, Tiaja is very hands-on when it comes on to her chores. I teach her how important doing house chores are. It has numerous benefits. It includes um, responsibility. It promotes independence. It develops life skills and it encourages teamwork. So if your kids aren't doing chores, mama or daddy, you guys, you got to do better. The kids got to work. So after a long day of cleaning, this is now my time to carve out some time for myself and indulge in activities that bring me peace and joy. And this just embraces the tranquility of my beautiful, clean home. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And until next time, take care and enjoy your well-deserved relaxation. See you guys in the next video.